All right, y'all, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we've had some issues with the ZL1. Uh, definitely there's something wrong with the suspension. We just don't know yet. I am putting new shocks on today, but we're gonna dig a little deeper into it. Uh, I'm at my buddy's shop here, I'll show you. Vega's automo Automotive and Performance. He most, I mean, he works on pretty much everything, but you'll see a lot of six gens Camaro. This is his girls right here, things nasty. Full bolt-on, cam, stall, things crazy. We got this car right here. I can't say too much about other people's cars, but this thing looks really, really good. We got his little toy car. Another 1LE, well, SS 1LE. So, I'm gonna introduce you to him. Uh, we're gonna record some stuff, try to figure out what's going on with the suspension. Probably gonna have to buy some parts eventually, but for now, we're putting Viking shocks on and we'll just go from there. So these right here is what we're gonna be installing today. We got some Viking shocks. Box is the other one. Uh, my car's making a weird noise right now. Every time I like hit a bump, it like kirks. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but uh, super weird noise. Something's going on with the suspension. So first we're gonna try shocks because those were leaking anyways. But uh, I'm guessing it's going to be something else. I definitely need some new tires looking at it. Looks pretty good. I don't know if y'all seen this, but... F you, Ant. Alright, we're going to put it up on the lift right now, and then uh, we'll look under it see what's going on. Uh, tires are a little worn out, but they're not too bad. Are they? I want to get some Hoosiers. Huh? So if you guys need any welds, he's a dealer for weld, Forge Star. Those are some more tires right there. He got the best deals around. More welds right there. Literally, we'll give you the absolute best price. And if you guys need 15 inch conversion, for the Camaro. This actually ain't too bad. So, my wheels are digging into the fender liner right here. Wow, that's crazy. So some's pro most likely messed up for sure. Oh, by the way, that's Kyle. That's That's the owner right there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's... It's here, too, dude. Really? Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. I don't know if the car's squatting or the suspension's that bad or something like that, but... While he's working on that a little bit, I figured I'd talk a little bit about my car since uh, no one really knows what's going on because I haven't posted in a while. But do me this favor. I don't ask for much, but like this video... Comment down below if you can. Comment anything. It helps this channel grow. Uh, honestly, it kind of motivates me a little bit, you know. Uh, I've been a little unmotivated. The car's always in the shop and stuff like that, so it kind of sucks. But uh, I'm really trying to be back and doing my best. So I'm going to start recording more. I did just have a baby about a week ago, and that's going to make it a little bit hard. But it's okay. We're going to be out there. Uh, like I said, this is my buddy's car. But... A little bit about my car and what's done to it so it is a full bolt-on zl1 uh headers intake upper pulley lower pulley meth ported blower uh 15 inch conversion low side fuel pump it's on like e50 around so let's make it some decent power probably like 700 maybe low seven some around there um but I want, I want you guys to tell me, what do you guys want to see more? Do you guys want to see the racing content? 
or do you want to see us like building the car more you know it's it's been a while i went from building cars kind of i shouldn't say building but doing mods myself kind of and showing that process to then racing and now i'm just kind of like i don't know what you guys want to see so um i'm guessing you guys probably want to see racing content and i'm gonna try my best to get that out to you guys uh something's always going on with this car that's that's really the thing so we got to get this car dialed in uh suspension being first we're putting shocks on it right now it's probably going to need some other stuff who really knows but uh thanks for sticking with me man really do appreciate it the car is going to be uh it's going to be a killer once it's fully done you know but that stuff does take time so just bear with me uh i do love my roll racing i love digs but for digs i i, I can't get the car to hook the car does not hook um, i'm hoping the suspension parts help uh i am getting a squeaking every time i hit a bump so i got to figure out where that's coming from so hopefully today we figure that out but um we'll get to the bottom of it and i just want your guys opinion tell me down below do you guys want to see the racing the building what do you guys want to see on the channel and i'll deliver i'll do my absolute best and promise to deliver uh maybe at least once a week maybe twice a week so uh we're gonna put the shocks on see how that goes and i'll get right back with you guys this man has a whole lift and works on the damn floor yes yeah. oh shit that's all the tire stuff i took out from the wheel well it's a beautiful complex that was just all the tires stuck in the wheel well. Look at this thing. We got one shock on. Looks pretty damn good. This is definitely going to need some testing uh, so that we know how we want it to dig and ride and stuff like that. But looks pretty damn good if you ask me. 800 bucks, not too bad. We're gonna have to replace some of this stuff. See, the only aftermarket thing I got is this right here, the 15 inch conversion and now the shock. So I think next is gonna be, you know, all these arms and stuff like that. Cause like I said, it's making a creaking and we don't know where the hell it's coming from. But I guess we'll see once we put on the shocks that'll eliminate that. And then uh, we still gotta do the other side. Tire's still on. We got a little guest here. Look at this car. This thing is fucking nasty. That's a CTSV over there, Cam. This color is insane. What do you guys think about this color? Wow, it really pops on the freaking camera. You got the tire in the back on an 18. This thing's Cam, full bolt on. If you guys want, you know what? I'll put the race down below. Yeah, that thing's sick. Woo. I really didn't record much, but we're all good. It's on. It sits a little higher than normal. This thing doesn't move at all. Hopefully this thing hooks and goes. Now I need alignment. Yeah, we gotta get an alignment on this thing. You know anywhere that does an alignment? I guess Posa does. Really? All right, so we got the shocks on. Everything looks pretty good. Everything's actually really tight. It feels really good when I drive. The tires are straight. Even the steering wheel got straighter. I do need an alignment probably, but uh, it's pretty good actually right now. Uh, we're still getting this god awful every, screech every time I hit a bump. It's brutal. Like, it creaks. I don't know how else to put it. So, we're trying to fight that and see what that is. But other than that, I mean, looks pretty damn good if you ask me. So, we're going to look into this a little bit more, get to the bottom of it. Uh, I know it's not too crazy of a new video, but uh, hey, I just told myself I was going to pick the camera up a little bit more. So, we're going to figure this out. I'll let you know what happens. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about the new Mustang? It hasn't officially been revealed yet. It will tonight at like 6 or 7, but it looks pretty sick, dude, that interior. Everything digital. I'm sure this is the premium top of the line one, but the only thing I don't like, the Recaros, that's cool. The rear. Yeah. The rear. I hate it. 
Oh, bear back, he found some. What is it? Oh, yeah. Over here trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Your alignment's gonna be way off now though. That's all right. Like way off. My alignment was just, I was just telling them that it was good too. Yeah, everything. There it is. It's those cheap toe arms. You think so? What'd you loosen? The toe arms. The toe arms? That metal on metal, remember us? We were just talking about that? Yeah. That's it. So 100%? I mean, the noise is gone after. Let me tighten it up and see. Yeah, true. The noise is gone. Yeah. Tighten it up, see what happens. Either that or they tightened it too much. I don't know. All right, let's see if this fixes it. Yeah? Let me loosen it again. I would say just loosen this one. Loosen one of them. Well, well do that one first, actually. I did it on both sides. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, I guess those shitty-ass toe arms, huh? Let me loosen this one. Yeah. All right. Well, we know what it is. It's the toe arms from this 15-inch conversion. Holy shit! Wait till Matt. I'm gonna call Matt. Okay. Good to know. Time to order some new ones, I guess. Oh God. ended up he's trying to do a burnout not working all right so we just ended up ordering um bmr so we got the viking shocks the toe arms are what are making those that sound so we ordered new toe arms what did we order again okay so basically yeah we ordered pretty much everything all suspension so this this car will be pretty much a full suspension car we'll need an alignment i definitely need new tires um it's definitely a work in progress but man this thing's gonna be freaking killer uh maybe i'll do a pull for you guys at the end of the video so you can see how quick it is uh but other than that man that's gonna be the video pretty much and uh, i hope you enjoyed it ain't nothing crazy but you know just trying to get back in the swing of things so i was gonna do a hold on let me roll up the windows um, I was gonna do a pull for you guys, but my suspension is all off. My steering wheel is like this right now, so uh, I don't want to mess anything up because this car just likes messing things up. So uh, we ordered the new tow arms because those were squeaking. They're not working properly, pretty much. My car kept, every time I do a dig, it would like go to the. <laughs> sideways like every time so that definitely makes sense it's that the alignment is definitely off to or was off before so i ordered all new bmr suspension uh upper control arms low control arms uh trailing arms stuff every pretty much everything you think of the whole package uh got it for a really good deal do me a favor if you need any parts you need any work uh in illinois my buddy kyle vega i'm gonna put his link down below to like his Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, hit him up, he'll be able to help you out. Uh, he also has some of the cheapest parts around. He'll give you the best deal possible on wheels, everything like that. I just wanna shout him out. He always helps me out. Uh, he's pretty much built this whole car, so I trust him. Uh, like I said, I ordered the BMR, and then funny enough, my AC belt broke, so I have to order, get a new AC belt. Pretty much it doesn't stop. This is what happens when you buy a higher mileage Camaro. Uh, we got 37,000 miles on it, but do me a favor. I know it wasn't the most exciting video in the world, but 
leave a like, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That helps me a lot. Uh, I'm trying to get back into making videos. I promise I'm going to start at least posting once a week, hopefully. Maybe twice a week if I can. But definitely, definitely once a week. I need to get back in the groove of... Uh, uh, being in front of a camera that's like the biggest thing I'm scared to talk in front of people when it comes to like in front of a camera like being out at meets and stuff like that that shit scares me it always has but I'm gonna get back into it who cares fuck the haters you know um, let's make this content let's grow this channel and we're gonna have a super fast DL1 I'm telling you this thing already pulls hard for just boltons so let me know what you think of the video like comment subscribe you know what to do baby Peace, y'all.